and welcome to the Spartan News Update. I'm Molly Gundry. And I'm Asia Lawrence, and this is your news for November 30th, 2020. The holiday shopping season is here, and retailers are expecting a Cyber Monday like never before. Because of the coronavirus, foot traffic at stores dropped 52% on Black Friday. However, Adobe Analytics says internet shopping hit $9 billion, a nearly 22% increase over 2019. Cyber Monday is expected to be a record with sales, hitting up to $12.7 billion. That would be a 35% increase from last year. Amazon said it is ready for the holidays. The company has hired hundreds of thousands of new workers this year and is confident packages to customers will be coming in time. People are urged to continue shopping with small businesses following Small Business Saturday. Due to the pandemic, small businesses have been struggling especially hard, but this past Saturday was a successful day for business owners across the country. Small Business Saturday is dedicated to supporting and shopping with smaller businesses. Business owners in Kalamazoo, Michigan, say that they were overwhelmed with the support from their community and encouraged customers to continue shopping with local businesses throughout the holiday season. Shopping with local businesses ensures that $68 of every $100 earned will stay within the community. New York Mayor Bill de Blasio urged everyone who traveled during the Thanksgiving holiday to get tested in order to fight the surge of COVID-19. Mayor Bill de Blasio said if people traveled, it is important to follow state rules. He said they're going to be focusing on educating people on the importance of quarantine after they traveled or to test out by having a double negative test result. De Blasio said they will be enforcing the quarantine rules and people who do not follow these rules will face consequences. The mayor also announced Sunday that some elementary schools and pre-kindergarten programs will resume classes on December 7th. Two Big Ten football fans bet on a game where the loser has to raise money for cancer research. U of M fan Bill Cook and MSU fan Adam Bailey bet on the football games every year, but this year they decided to make the bet more meaningful. The two men decided to make the loser raise money for cancer research, specifically for a young boy named Jet, who is currently fighting lymphoma. Since the University of Michigan lost the game, Adam Bailey is currently on the streets raising money and explained that all proceeds will go to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital, where Jet is currently receiving treatment. That is all the news we have for you today. For more news, you can visit SpartanNewsroom.com. That's all we have today. I'm Asian Lawrence, reporting.